battery or earth magnetic field energizing systems I have here a couple of components I will use for um, the construction of the system I have some also later on after I did explain you what I'm going to use uh, the technical diagram I did design for this work I would like to do and I will go through over these components now in a second. We have, so we have here um, two energy systems. We have the load. The load will be our 12 volt batteries that will be connected in series. And we have a driving um, energy system based on lithium ion cells. All of them will be connected in series. We have a variety of DC-DC converters for stepping up or stepping down voltages as needed. And my energizing system or the system which actually then, um, um, excites the next step of called will be via my evaluation board because I have here the opportunity to change different um, um, transistors into different values. So we're not going to use the LD, so instead of the LD, we're going to have sensor output connected directly to the NAS double field coil. I will use, and that's very important, very special designed capacitors for tuning. So this is a tuning capacitor I did design, it's adjustable, but I would also design other capacitors which are not tunable. But in the first phase, we're going to use signal generator and we're going to use them um, tunable capacitors until I'm going to ex uh, exchange them with the correct values um, with capacitors I did specifically and that's not capacitors you would like to think as a normal capacitors These are capacitors with special um, functionality I will go that um, in a later stage when I did um, the development so the two big batteries are in series they are 24 volt so one battery is connected to the earth ground on one side and once let's say we have um, used the energy of them so they are all in series connected eight of them so we have about 30 volt they can go down to 2.75 volt per cell so that's around 20 20 volt however i will, I will um, um, use a dc converter to get the um, voltage down to 12 volt we can charge it up here. I have single, four single cells we're going to use here. There's a specific lithium ion cell charger with an, an algorithm for um, current, um, constant current and constant voltage depending on the voltage level on the battery. So they will be used from, from the second battery to charge up. So the idea is when we use the system that um, the batteries will be charged up and can be replaced with a second set of batteries or in the later stage if everything is working fine we have a much larger um, battery bank we're going to use for charging up and once my um, driving batteries um, or here the, the cells are depleted we're using them one of these batteries to charge them up again DC DC converter down to 5 volt um, to do that job we have various other things we're going to use we use Again, wire wound or a, a carbon based resistor, everything will be carbon based or will be specifically designed. We're not using standard um, electronics for the wiring, so that will be different. Time. So, I give you now an overview of the diagram. So here, you see the diagram in, in detail. There are a couple of small components not integrated, like resistors here, for example, I have added, and some other. Um, um, little components but they are on order uh, um, I will hopefully get them in a couple of days so they will be part of it so here what you can see here in green that is my charging let's say my driving energizing system my silicium cells 3.7 volt they are um, in series connected so um, technically it should be 29.6 but they are much higher, they are over 3.8, 3.9 volt parches, so they will be over 30 volt. We are going to use here yellow DC converter to get that down to 12 volt 
And here we use a multi vibrator. This would be um, a signal generator, a small signal generator, which will be independent connected. And I'm using here probably either um, a square wave, uh, depending on what I'm using. If it's not based on, on, on air core designs or other core materials, I can, can use air cores and can use um, directly sine waves um, if I can. And here, that's the part. So this double fit cord here is orientated north to south, important. And we have two earth connections. One earth connection is a, a copper sheet on the north side connected in my garden with a long wire here into my lab. On the other side, on the south side, I have a zinc sheet in the earth uh, ground connected. As you remember, in my earth batteries, there is a potential between both of them already existing. So the 12 volt batteries will be connected in series to my earth ground if you want. However, it will not, need, not, not be directly connected. First of all, we have a charging or let's say a flow um, controlling diode in here where I allow only positive um, um, fluctuation, positive pulses to reach um, the battery um, array here. Also from the multi-vibrator here we have capacitors connected on both sides. So you have if you if you remember on the stubble fitness and stubble fit called it it has two wires wound in parallel. One wire is copper the other wire is iron, they are in parallel. The, wire, the iron wire is not insulated. So that will be wrapped in, in wet cloth or you can submerge it in water or put it in the earth as you want. You can test it out. But very important is the arrangement. So when you arrange it north to south, the magnetic field will be within this coil. And you can see that. So if I take my compass and close to that, the compass will be deflected based on that coil because here the magnetic line will be um, concentrated and has an impact on my surrounding environment from a magnetic field point of view. This one is very very special between both wires, so the copper wire and the iron wire is a connection and that is, has nothing to do with these two capacitors. This is a very special built capacitor I will integrate. There is a material in between. So I will not go down to these details, that is something for my members I want to um, um, unveil. And here we are going to receive radiant energy. So we have some magnetic field and radiant energy which will be harnessed here within this component. And that should give me a strong pulse from a very small scale um, vibration or yeah. Um, signal to here only the um, voltage increasing transformer core if you want uh, to allow in resonance a higher a potential to go through um, the battery and because we are connecting both to earth ground not directly but by a capacitors but it's AC we will have an um, impact on that. So that, is, uh, that will be in a testing phase, uh, hopefully in the next uh, one, um, two week, hopefully latest by next week I will be able to present that. It will be available on my members website um, with, with all the details. What I would also like to mention is that I will add at each stage a very extensive set of measurements instrumentations. Example would be here Input stage, I measure voltage and current in real time. Here, voltage current um, converter out. Again, here another um, stage of voltage um, and current measurement. And here at the end as well. So we have between four and six measurements in real time, which I will track over time and we'll do a precise tool calculation between input power and output power. So that is a, uh, at a glance information about what I'm going to do, what I will present to my members 
in the next couple of weeks and where to build on this concept and see where we or what we can get out of it. Thank you.